Number one, check your settings. So the first thing you want to do when you play the server, just just logged in, just just got out of tutorial or whatever, check your settings. So some of the settings by default are a little wonky or um, just things that you're going to want to change. So for example, let's go to advanced options. You've got uh, the transparent chat box, stuff like that. Uh, just look at all of the settings, see if there's any that you like or do not like. Shift click, uh, that's one right there that people want. Uh, NPC attack options, you want to make sure you want to put that to the left click available. Obviously, if you have different opinions, do that. You can change your F keys around, make sure you can turn uh, escape to close interfaces. Basically, all the settings that you, you know, are going to make the game better. Some people uh, log in like, oh, I can't shift click, but oh, you just got to turn it on. That's the same way old school is. Uh, I don't know why it defaults to off, but it just does. Uh, the other thing is you have rune light settings. So rune light is a part of the server. It is a little tricky because we don't have a lot of control over it. We can't change a lot of things. We can't customize it, but uh, it is a nice tool that can be helpful. And there are some settings. The one uh, setting that I know a lot of people uh, have issues with is the camera zoom option. That one uh, is one that people ask about a lot. So make sure you change your settings. Make sure everything is good. Number two. Achievements. So achievements are a pretty big part of revival. This gives you a sense of direction and kind of lets you know what you should be doing if you're kind of bored or you just need something else to do. You can do an achievement, and there's a lot of great rewards. A lot of uh, all of the, all of them have unique rewards for the most part, uh, and the novice ones are no exception. A lot of them are very very simple. For example, time to mine. All you have to do is enter the mine, and you get 250 coal. That is very easy. All you have to do is coin coin se. You can also use the crystal that you get. Um, then you come over here and then enter this cave and that is it all you have to do for the achievement and boom 250 free coal bam there's plenty of other achievements you have some like this one right here message in a bottle find a clue bottle once you do the clue and complete the clue you'll automatically get the uh, treasure hunter one which is open and clue scroll uh, reward so a lot of clues are or a lot of achievements are like that and to unlock the starting gear you also need to uh, do some of the achievements so uh, I'll, I'll give you an example of that on the main account so if we look at the achievement Titans trial the reward is a Titans decree and a mystery box the Titans decree is this item right here if you read it it'll just simply say you read about enchanting Barrison armor and crystal amulets so it kind of gives you a hint hint all you have to do is use the Titans decree on your bear skin top and boom it'll upgrade you do need five crystal shards and I'll talk about those in a brief moment uh, while well, in the future <laughs> step number uh, Four. Um, but uh, yeah, it's simple as that, and your armor is upgraded to tier 65. The Titan's armor specifically is hybrid armor. Um, you've probably seen the armor before, but uh, the achievements is how you get them. Agile is for the host upgrade. The uh, um, Hunter's Vision is for the Bounty Hunter, or the Bounty Hunter, the Beast Hunter crossbow upgrade. And then the, um, the Hell's Kitchen is for the uh, a staff upgrade. And then also, if, as you see right here, the, it does, uh, the Titan's Decree does the Crystal Amulets as well. Number three, Altars. So you might have noticed if you've tried to use Bones on this Altar here, nothing interesting is going to happen. So this server does have construction. So in order to train your uh, prayer with an Altar, you do need to build a Gilded Altar in your house, which I believe is 75 construction and a little bit of money. That's not really an issue for most people, but... Yeah, if we go here, I think you do have to have the burners lit and everything. So we're probably going to get less XP than normal. But uh, yeah, that is how you do it. There is one other way, which is a nice cheeky way that you can do pretty free. You have to go to the Wilderness Altar. So if you go to Konko on any, then you use the altar. What's somebody just dropping around here? Wow. Go to Wilderness, then hit 44 Oblisk. And then you start heading southwest. If you look on the map, I'll show you on the map. You've probably done this before, but just in case you haven't, I'll show you. This altar right here is the Wilderness Chaos Altar, and you can use your bones on it. It also has a nice added feature of having a potential chance to save your bones. So it's a, I think it's a 50% chance to save your bones. So you will get uh, a lot of extra experience here. Obviously, the downside is it's in the wilderness. I have seen some PKers, but I don't know. They didn't attack me, so maybe they maybe they won't spare you, though. Uh, but it is obviously a free way to do it. Uh, it's the way most people do it. And good luck. Number four, the training grounds and cash caskets. So if you come to Cone Cone Train, you'll find this area. You have multiple mobs, rabbits, bears, unicorns. you got some higher elf warriors, and then you have some dire wolves down to the south. 
All of these monsters have a chance of dropping crystal shards. Those are those shards we mentioned earlier that you use for upgrades. They're also used for other crystal things. If you're familiar with old school and Perfidus and crystal shards, then you probably already know. But um, that's one of the many uses there they have, and at least the most important one right now that applies to most people because uh, we still don't have things like Bofa or the Gauntlet or anything like that. But once we do have those things, it'll probably be more common. But for now, this is probably the main way most people will get them. You can also get the crystal shards from Iowerth's dungeon, the dungeon that's uh, southwest of Inprif. Um, but when you're killing any monster, not just the monsters here, this is any monster in the entire game, including monsters that are in, like, uh, fight caves, for example, they have a chance of dropping cash caskets. It gives you about 50k to 100k. Here's one right now, for as an example. 202k. Nice chunk of money. It is a good way to get money. Uh, when you're doing achievements, as we talked about earlier, you also have the uh, Bear With Me achievement, which uh, is kill 200 bears. So a good way to start out is simply kill 200 bears. Training here. You should get some cash caskets, uh, should get some, uh, some crystal shards along the way. And the 200 I did on my uh, normal account, I ended up getting six, uh, or not six crystal shards, uh, four crystal shards and six mil cash. So, uh, e. Number five, looting bag. So the looting bag is pretty simple. Kill monsters in the wilderness, and they all have a chance at dropping the looting bag. It does not matter the monster's combat level, so ideally you want to kill something low and easy. This is a great spot because these things are aggressive, so you don't even really have to pay attention. And boom, what is that second kill? We got ourselves a looting bag. Looting bag is really nice because if you're in the wilderness, I mean, you probably know what it does, but I'll give you a brief summary. If you're in the wilderness, you can use things on it, and it will store for you. Even uh, the good thing about it is it actually does open as well. So you can see right here if we have it open and we loot the grimy uh, Avento. Check it. There it is. So number six, NPCs around the home location. So a lot of people want to know where are the shops. The simplest way, go to colon colon NE. So right here you're going to have the ranger shop, range weapons, range equipment. Range equipment is not accessible by Ironman. You have the crafting supplies, fishing supplies, and hatchets and axes, all shops allowed by Ironman. You have the general store from Gualter. You can sell things to it. You have the Herblore secondary shop with Leo, or Lilo, or whatever, I don't know. Uh, you have the farming shop with Brawan, Bra Brawan, Branwin. You have the magic shop with Remace, or so, I don't know why I named all these people the most obnoxious names. I guess it wasn't my fault, it's RuneScape, RuneScape's fault. You have the melee guy right down here, Centiri. Equipment, all this stuff is accessible by Ironman. You have Alec, the hunter shop right here. You have the uh, PVM point or adventure point shop right here, which is with Mavern. And then the achievement shop over there with Twiggy O'Kern. Uh, the Slayer Master can be found southwest. Uh, so if we go southwest, colon colon SW. You have Neve right here. So just get an assignment. You also have the food shop back where I was before with uh, an NE, but you can also find it here. The shop is not accessible by Ironman. Uh, and then there's also a crafting shop at any near the uh, the uh, gym stall. Again, not accessible by Ironman. So those are all the main shops you'll use. There is a sawmill operator right here, uh, and you can get some, some minimal construction supplies from there. And then all of the shops around the way are just the same shops that you can find, for example, in the Plate Body Shop, you'll have Centiri there, so you don't really have to go looking around for additional shops. There are some other interesting NPCs, such as the Donator Store right there with King Rolod. You have the Makeover Mage over here in Northwest, if you want to change your character designs. You have this little gnome right here who can take you just immediately to the Gnome Agility Place. And it is not a, uh, a NPC, but if you climb up the stairs near the middle, and then go to the east, you'll have the enhanced crystal chest. You can make this key. This key is possible to make in game. Obviously, shards are kind of hard to obtain, and most people would rather use their shards for things like the upgrades. But once we add more ways to get shards, it'll be a lot more prevalent. Pre prevalent? Prevalent. Yeah. Uh, so if you come to any of these bowls, there's a handful of them around the uh, around the place. You can see the options right here for some of this stuff. And I believe the helm body and legs are actually makeable right now. It's just you don't you can't get the crystal armor seeds yet, and then obviously no one has those shards. The estate agent is also located southwest. This is where you get the homeowner's achievement done. You can buy a house here. And then obviously you saw the portal is right over here. Also on the southwest side near the combat ring, you have these max hit dummies. These do function. 
it'll show you what your max hit is. So if you ever wanted to figure that out, you can see those. Then the last section I want to talk about, we have the little grand exchange area right here where you can put up offers. And then we also have this where you can just get a newspaper to read about updates. Uh, and then Jara who can heal you. Number seven, agility. So agility is going to help you run. That is one of the complaints we've had a lot of with the server, that there is no infinite run. Uh, I, I understand that. I completely understand that. And we definitely plan to make strides um, along the way. But we don't want exactly infinite run. We There's value to the way old school has been designed. Um, stamina pots exist and are functional. Once people have those, uh, I think it'll be a lot less of a problem. I think it's just an aspect of old school that... Um, that we shouldn't entirely lose. Uh, so, train your agility. Agility does help. The formula for your uh, agility. Um, also, the rune light timers are kind of off. Uh, it's based on actual old school. So any changes we make are not going to get like registered. <laughs> so, um, yeah, even just having a small agility level will help. Also, weight reducing gear works as well. So if you can get some boots of lightness, and if you're not doing any, like if you're just doing agility, for example, you don't need to have your full armor set. You can have this set up and it'll be fine. If you're just skilling, you're doing length skilling, just the way you want to go. So just make those improvements and it will help the game a lot. Number eight, Wilderness Slayer. So there are two Slayer Masters. If you come to Edgeville and then come over here to Crystalia, you can get Wilderness Slayer tasks. Uh, when you're on a Wilderness Slayer task, you can actually get additional rewards such as Laren's Keys or Resource Packs. And there's a couple other items. So you can actually get some really good rewards uh, as well as additional points. We'll just do a hard task. And then, uh, yes, the change is better. 20 spiritual creatures. So, yeah, kill them, and you'll have a chance at getting some of those loots I talked about. And there we go. We just got ourselves a Laren's Key. So I think that only took, what, eight kills in, and we got one? Not bad at all. I'll uh, show you what they look like. So if you come over here, Deep Wilderness. You've probably seen this before. Up the pirate ship, and loot the chest. Yeah, not bad. Number nine, Winter Tot. So Winter Tot exists, and it is similar to old school, where your lower health will help you, and you'll take less damage. So this is definitely one of those things where doing it at a lower level, lower level, lower health will help. Um, if you don't know how to solo it, we do plan to do quite a few masses of it. So uh, just try to join us during one of those if, you, if that's your plan. But if you do know how to solo it, it is really good, very good experience, very good rewards. Uh, it also can give you, when you're repairing the brazier, it gives you construction experience, so that could be a really good way to get some early construction levels if for free, basically. Number 10, spell books. So you can actually change your spell books. So there is no altar at home or easy altar like that, but if you go to the uh, teleporter, you have a couple hotspots you can go to. So Lunar Isle right here, obviously that's going to be the Lunar Isle, and if you walk over here to where the map is. We'll just cheat and shift click over there. Uh, sh shift click in there. And then you uh, can see there's options right here. So we'll go to Lunar. And there we go. Back to Modern. And then if we go back to that altar, you're going to see this Desert Temple option right here. So you just teleport there. And then go through the tunnel. And boom. It's even faster than Lunar's. So you do not need that really overpowered uh, altar thingy in your house. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, I will explain it. If you go to construction and then we go to one of these blocks. So if you make an altar, you can, you can actually put the individual ones in your house as well, the ancient lunar dark. And uh, then you can also make the final one, the occult, where you have all three. So that does, or that can go in your house to make things simpler, faster, but obviously you have these options for free available to you right away. That's gonna do it guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Come check out the server just released.